And off the top tonight, new details on the condition of young children injured in yesterday's deadly Wilton Manors crash. Doctors say two children are very seriously hurt. One is doing okay. Another has been released from the hospital. Police say the crash killed two little girls. Chopper 4 shows us the car that police say was involved. It is a 2009 Honda Accord. And the families of the victims have gone from celebrating Christmas joy to absolute heartbreak. The Wilton Manors Police Department issuing this letter today, letting everyone know that the department is working very hard trying to locate the driver responsible for this crash. The police department is hoping people in the community there can rally around one another during this very tough time. Good evening, I'm Jim Barry. CBS Force Carly Barnett has been following the latest developments in this story. She joins us live from Wilton Manors right now. Carly. Well, Jim, a lot of heavy hearts here tonight, and this is the area where a driver veered off of the roadway up onto the sidewalk, hitting those children. And tonight, candles lit in remembrance as investigators are looking to find the person who did this. A memorial is growing at the site where a driver struck six children, killing two of them. This whole little community is hurting right now. We broken behind that. The 911 call came in just before 3 o'clock Monday afternoon. That they were yelling that there were four or five kids in the car that was hit. The Broward Sheriff's Office says a man driving a 2009 Honda Accord sedan was traveling southbound on Northwest 9th Avenue or Powerline Road. He failed to allow a Broward Transit bus driver to merge into traffic and cut the bus off. The Honda veered right and drove off the roadway and up onto the sidewalk. The lady was out here hollering and screaming and hollering behind my car and I came out. I thought something was wrong and she was saying that was her baby that got killed in the accident. Six-year-old Andrea Fleming and five-year-old Kylie Jones were pronounced dead on scene. That's why I would really want to see can I donate the service I helped the family out with the service as much as I could to do whatever I can help you. Archie Gunner works for Premier Funeral Services and says he wants to help the family however they can. Four other children, a two-year-old, ten-year-old, and two nine-year-olds were taken to the hospital. One child has since been released. Tuesday, detectives found the car involved but did not disclose where. They're still looking for the driver. And in the time our report was playing, two more women showed up and left bears here at the scene. So really just a lot of community support and rallying around these families. And the police are asking for the community's help in order to help solve this. If you have any information, you are urged to call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. And they want to remind you, you can remain anonymous. But for now, live in Wilton Manors, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News.